It's the pumpkin season at the farm. For lunch today, we're gonna make that pumpkin risotto. I bet you've heard about this, pumpkin lasagna and pumpkin flan pâtissier. If you don't mind, let's continue this pumpkin series. It's gonna be full of surprises. So for this risotto interpretation, you want to use small red curry squashes or something similar that you like. So if you want to use the whole pumpkin as a serving bowl, first off, you want to wash the pumpkin, making sure there is no dirt left on the skin. Cut off the top and scoop out the seeds and save them for the stock. Rub with oil, season with salt and pepper and throw in the oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit, 200 Celsius for about 35 minutes. All right, so for the risotto, you want to make a robust stock. And for that matter, I'm gonna use the chicken stock I made earlier, in which I'm gonna add some aromatics and pumpkin seeds. I am also going to cook red curry squash quarters in the stock. Some of the pulp and the skin will be mixed and added to the risotto later. What's left will be saved for another plating style. In the meantime, I'm going to mince some shallots and check the doneness of the pumpkin. Remove from the stock, pass through a sieve and keep hot. Next, I'm going to mix the cooked red curry squash with mascarpone and some of the stock. Ready for the risotto? Let's do it! Start by melting a tablespoon of butter. When butter has melted, add the shallots and leave to sweat for a couple of minutes. Then add the arborio rice and toast for approximately four minutes without letting the rice turn brown. Deglaze with the white wine, throw in there a couple of orange zest and start cooking the rice with about half of the boiling stock and cook on low heat, stirring every so often. After 10 minutes or so, add the remaining stock gradually and continue to cook for 8 to 10 minutes. The proper final result should be smooth, creamy and wet, never dry. Add more stock if so. And to enhance the color of your pumpkin risotto, you may want to add a dash of turmeric. Then I'm gonna add the parmigiano reggiano and then the pumpkin mascarpone mixture. Look at this pumpkin risotto, absolutely gorgeous. Now plating, sear the cooked pumpkin wedge and top with the risotto and sprinkle some toasted sunflower seeds. Voila! To get the full recipe and measurements, go to my website brunoalbuz.com. If you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up and click down below to the subscribe button. Have a gorgeous day! See you very soon!